My name is Oliver Jeffers, and I'm a visual artist, storyteller, typographer. Uh, and for this tour, I drew all of the hand-drawn elements that are, that are in the first half of the show, and then for the one and the red segments in the second half of the show. I got involved with U2 in the Songs of Innocence and Experience tour um, maybe about four months before, the, before show day. So when talking with Willie Williams, it then became transparent that they'd been using this sketchbook a little bit for some of the, the visual references for some of the aspects of the tour. And, and at that point, it was realized that I was the, the author of, of that as well as the red stuff. And so I was brought into the fold quite quickly. This is just me kind of freewheeling on hearing some of the songs and talking about some of the, the stories behind the songs and actually some of the songs as well without necessarily knowing what they're about because they, they, it happened in the, the conversations about the context happened in bursts uh, and so just listening to the songs and picking out a few of the things like we begin to forget is a line in, in, in Iris and I don't know why but I just sort of it, it drew this parallel with these constellations um, and I'm making this, this other project about memory at the moment and there's the vastness of, of uh, outer space just seems fitting somehow. So I, I made this, I just splattered some blobs of paint on and then made up constellations. So none of these constellations are accurate, they're all made up, but there's a poignancy in that too. Uh, and so it says we begin to forget. And then this ended up becoming the very first visuals that you see on the screen. You see that, that little bit of uh, the Super 8 footage of Iris and then that cuts out and then these constellations start to appear and rotate very slowly over it, drawing as you see them unfold. And then the, the footage comes back on and it itself becomes, it sort of blows out as if it's been overexposed. Uh, and it shrinks down to become one of those stars. So it's his mother becomes one of these, these memories. And then that rotates away. And, and then that, that's, it's one of my, one of my favorite uh, parts of the show from an animation standpoint is that everything that's in that universe is contained within this one light bulb that's contained within his bedroom and it's this pan back to then the row of houses at nighttime, which turns into the white line drawing which then becomes Cedarwood Road which pans right past and at that point it's it's a very fine line between a rock and roll show and, and theater. Yeah these are actually the first incarnations of the uh, the, the houses which led to the style of Cedarwood Road and at the, the very end of, of Iris and and stylistically, these could not work for uh, Cedarwood Road because of how bright they are, because the Bono needs to be seen walking through the screen at that point. So which was when it ended up going with the, the, the line art versions. And then this, these all scroll past and uh, the, the yellow line is, is the actual road. The, the light bulb theme, I can't remember how that came about. Um, but sort of uh, one of the very early conversations whenever, and it was quite a surreal moment, um, Bono just said, can you come over to Electric Lady Studios? So I went and I kind of sat around the waiting room and, and uh, for a while and I thought, you know, somebody's going to let me hear the album. I knew that's what I was there for. But then Bono himself came down and he's like, come with me. And it was just the two of us in the big massive room and he played the entire album, singing it while explaining the motivation for some of the stories. And just some of these moments popped into my hair, like the empty chair facing a window, which is actually that empty chair and, and that window. And, uh, and then just the, the light bulb standing on its own, which then ended up becoming this, this theme throughout the, the whole show. Um, and that was, I think, from, from something he said, and I can't even remember the context of it now, but I just made a drawing. It was like, that's, there's something just so powerful about that, about this, this single, single light bulb. Uh, and then, of course, some of these, the, the murals, which ended up becoming part of uh, Bloody Sunday. And then that's one of the lines from, no, them only us, what is that? That's invisible, I think. I knew I wasn't going to see the concert until they came to New York. And, and when I was standing there, I was overwhelmed with pride at being involved. I was just like, this is one of the most incredible experiences I've ever been a part of.